Hi, dear students. This is Dr. Amir Kodil from Team Meritors. And now, as you know, that the date for exam has been uh, declared. That's nineteenth of April. That's less than two months left for your exam, and I'm sure that uh, you are experiencing a lot of stress because of so much content, uh, the amount of syllabus that you have to cover, or because of the time management, and you know the revision strategy. negative marking so all these problems that you must be facing right now i'm going to discuss one by one each of these to help you plan your revision better and so that uh, you can attempt the exam with your best effort and score the best possible ranks in your neat mds 2025 now uh, let's start with the revision strategy at this point of time uh, if you have finished all your subjects once that means if you have gone through the task modules and the uh, q bank for each topic each subject one by one then you are in a very good shape and space right now but now what you need to do is revise again and again so this revision strategy has to be split down subject wise what i would do is take some easy subjects and take one or two difficult subjects per week and focus on them now how do you decide which subjects to take for revision and what are your stronger subjects or what are your weaker subjects so for that you need to take your national mocks very seriously right because the national mocks will give you a complete idea with the recommendations on your uh, strengths and weaknesses so you can dedicate specific amount of time to each subject accordingly now what are these recommendations time and again i keep telling you that when you attempt a national mock we do an analysis of uh, how many questions you attempted how many questions were incorrect or correct and what topics are your weaker topics or stronger topics and then we give you a literal word to word breakdown of how much time you need to dedicate to each subject so suppose if you are having difficulty with ortho and endo and say dental materials so we will tell you focus on these subjects over the next week right and when you focus on these revisions okay here i'm talking about strictly revision so when you revise these topics and of course you can uh, always look at the important topics from each of these subjects from our uh, strategy videos i've included the links for them in the captions and then once you identify these important areas you need to prepare and make sure that you follow up on your next mock so the next time when you take mock you must look at your performance on the subjects you prepared so that will give you a boost as to your uh, revision is working correctly and you are doing better in every mock now uh, taking mock itself is very important because it gives you more hands on experience it gives you a more exam feel so take your mocks on uh, a desktop on a laptop so that you have the same interface you can understand how to review questions how to mark for later you know how to go back and how to manage time whatever the exam pattern is we've prepared you for a section wise we will also make sure that the ne next few mocks we give you a full uh, exam feel exam experience so that you know how to manage your time right so time management is very critical when it comes to your uh, neat mds exam that's because sometimes you have very lengthy questions and sometimes you have very pictorial questions sometimes you need to read a lot of questions so make sure that you are practicing your time management at this point of time with your national mocks one very important advice i always give my students is if you see a very long prose if you see a very descriptive question start reading from the last line look at the options and then read the question so if you have a whole history given and the last line of the question is what is the diagnosis so you first read what is the diagnosis look at the options so you have 1 2 3 4 options so you are now prepared as to what to look for the cue words in the whole descriptive case okay that makes it very easy to manage time and tackle lengthy questions uh, other than that on a time management for preparation perspective i also want to add that you know right now is the time and you should be dedicating more than half of your day to your preparation so 12 hours is something that would be a good number if you can dedicate that much time to your preparation that would be excellent but for those of you who are you know uh, with internship or facing any other personal uh, commitments you need at least 8 hours or 10 hours worth of preparation at this point of time to appear well for neat mds 2025 
so that uh, is all about time management i want you to focus on multiple subjects in a week so that you have enough uh, you are covering enough topics and you are covering maximizing your uh, strengths uh, a lot of you might be a little uh, overwhelmed about difficult subjects and subjects that you have not touched so far conceptually lacking some specific subjects now is not the time to work on new subjects and new topics right now you must focus on your strengths so if you are confident with xyz subject focus more on that and see how you can maximize your output and gain from those subjects okay and sometimes uh, when you are taking these mocks you will also find that you are taking a lot of questions uh, you are doing a lot of guess work so when you are doing any guess work make sure that you are making a note of these questions specifically because these are the areas you need to improvise on right so when you are guessing that means you are not sure about your concepts on those topics so make sure you are revising those topics uh, before your neat mds exam now how do you uh, determine what questions to focus on what kind of topics to focus on so there are two ways to understand that one is take the marathon now marathon is a set of questions which are based on previous year question topics okay so you have uh, all the important topics from the previous years which we have curated into newer questions with better explanations with video explanations so you go to go through the marathon topics completely and you also have the previous year question papers right so you must go through both of them at this point of time you must be well versed with marathon and pyqs because that is something that you cannot miss almost 30 to 40% of your paper is going to be a direct copy of these questions so make sure that you are following these two uh, uh tools from the app completely and then we have a uh, final strokes these are more volatile factual questions and now you have access to final strokes as well so make sure that you are using final strokes as a part of your preparation starting now so that whatever volatile concepts whatever numerical values or you know dates and stuff like these you are starting to register them now on and you can revise them towards the end of your uh, preparation the idea is to make your life simpler in the last two weeks of the exam because as you proceed and as you move towards the day of your exam your stress is going to increase and you are going to have more challenging preparation so start tapering down your preparation start making your revision as concise as possible so that you are more prepared for the neat mds day now uh, another problem that a lot of students face and they complain about is the negative marking now negative marking is something that has to be tackled uh, with smart guessing so if you have four options try to eliminate the two obvious incorrect options right if you can uh, read the question thoroughly and look at the options and eliminate at least two options then you have a 50% chance that you are going to answer it correctly now how many questions should you uh, attempt in the day of on the day of exam to get better results so out of 240 questions uh, which is a total of 960 marks if you want to score somewhere out more than 500 or 550 which should be your aim so if you are aiming for greater than 550 up to 600 700 then you must attempt at least 220 questions 200 to 220 is a safe number to attempt that means you must uh, pick out 20 questions which are definitely not your uh, strength which you are definitely not sure about or unheard of if you are completely clueless about these questions 20 questions you can skip at the max right and then out of every five questions so i have a small calculation i will also add it here in the captions suppose if you talk of five questions okay if you answer five questions correctly you get plus 20 right four marks each if you do four questions that is if one is incorrect and four are correct that means you will score 15 marks because four into four is 16 and then minus one for the incorrect so that's 15 if you answer three questions correctly you will get plus 10 marks if you do two answers correctly you get plus five marks so if out of two if out of total five questions even if you just get two correct guesses you will get plus five marks right and if you just answer one correctly out of five then you will get zero marks no loss no benefit so it is worth attempting more questions this is this is what i want to imply 
that out of five questions, even if you get three correct, then you are on a positive 10 marks, right? So that kind of will change the rank tremendously. That is why I always encourage our students to attempt more questions with smart guessing. Now, by smart guessing, I also want you to make sure that uh, you do not, uh, you know, just blindly. A lot of students do this, okay, because C and B are more common. So they're like, let's just mark C. Don't do that. Like, try to eliminate options. That's the most important part of smart guessing. For uh, more videos on smart guessing, I have another example. We will use that video in the caption. So you can just go through that video on how to smart guess and how to eliminate options. Go through that video and try to understand the mechanics of uh, attempting more and more questions in the exam. So these are some of uh, the problems that I can think of that you might be facing right now. If you have more questions, if you have any such doubts, please, uh, you can either comment below this video or you can also just reach out to us on our WhatsApp groups, directly tag us, and then we will get back to you. And for all those who are still finding it difficult to adapt to this process and not completely uh, dedicated to the preparation, it's not too late yet. Just focus on the marathon right now. That is going to help you with most of the questions, the previous year question papers. And start your preparation. Uh, you know, give it your the best amount of hours you can give in a day. And I think you should be uh, well prepared for the day of your exam. Uh, also, if you want to uh, find out how to fill your application form and the details regarding the application process, uh, the video is below. Just look at the blog. Uh, you can go through all the description on how to fill your form correctly so that you don't make a mistake. And for those of you who are not Meritors users yet, we have the crash prep for you, which comes with pro live series, test series. So you will have access to all the important data and the concepts that is required for your preparation right now. And you will have the access to all of this till the day of exam. So make sure that you are registering for the crash prep if you are not a user with us and we will be able to help you with your preparation the way you want it. And if you have any issues, we are right here. Just reach out to us and we should be able to help you. I hope this video was interesting for you. All the best for your exam. Thank you.